2025 Chevrolet Colorado Crew Cab Preview. Pros. Loads of technology. Civilized ride. Impressive capability. Cons. No diesel or V6. Single body slash bed configuration. What's new? No major changes expected. A mid-size truck delivering handsome styling, solid towing, and available imposing off-roading capability, the Chevrolet Colorado is one well-rounded pickup. Still fresh from a wildly successful redesign for 2023, we don't anticipate any big changes for 2025. Pricing should continue to start at around $31,000. You can have it all with the Chevrolet Colorado. Chevy provides the Colorado in an array of trims comprising everything from a basic work truck to an upscale family hauler to a wildly off-road capable boulder crawler. The Colorado follows the model of some other mid-sized trucks by offering only a crew cab with a short cargo box. Nonetheless, there is a Colorado model to fit every budget and truck need. Even with few changes, two years after its latest redesign, we like it better than ever. What's new for 2025? After being totally redesigned for 2023, the Colorado lineup was expanded for 2024 with the introduction of the ZR2 Bison Edition. We're expecting little in the way of change for 2025. When does the 2025 Chevrolet Colorado come out? We expect the 2025 Chevrolet Colorado to go on sale in the fall of 2024. 2025 Chevrolet Colorado Pricing the 2025 Chevrolet Colorado pricing should start around $31,000. Targeting a buyer requiring a basic truck and fleet buyers, this price is for the work truck, WT. A better price comparison to competitors is using the LT, $34,000, the most popular grade. Topping the Colorado trim pricing is the Colorado ZR2, starting at an estimated $49,000. Among comparable rivals, the Colorado's prices are a bit better than average. For most of us, the Colorado LT is a solid balance of price and capability. If you think you might occasionally wander off the pavement, you can add four-wheel drive for $3,300. On the other hand, if some serious off-roading is in your future, you can probably get your kicks with the Trail Boss, saving you some scratch over the Z71 and ZR2. Colorado WT $31,600 estimated. Colorado LT $34,000, estimated. Colorado Trail Boss $39,000, estimated. Colorado Z71 $42,000, estimated. Colorado ZR2 $49,000, estimated. These are the manufacturer's suggested retail prices, MSRP, including the $1,595 factory to dealer delivery fee, destination charge. Before buying the Chevrolet Colorado, check the Kelly Blue Book fair purchase price to know what you should really pay. To date, the Chevy Colorado has a slightly less than average track record for retaining its value. The segment leader in this regard is the Toyota Tacoma. Recouping more money when you sell a vehicle can mean a bigger down payment and lower monthly payments on your next one. Power, Ride, and Handling Available in the WT and LT, and standard in the Trail Boss and Z71 is the most popular Colorado engine, the 2.7-liter Turbo Plus that puts out 310 horsepower and 391 lb-ft of torque. After driving it, we would, in a heartbeat, spend the roughly $1,500 to upgrade the WT and LT. It's a bargain. Powering the ZR2 and ZR2 Bison is the 2.7-liter Turbo High Output Turbo 4. It also generates 310 horsepower, however, the turbo ho pumps out 430 lb-ft of torque. The base engine for the WT and LT is the 237 horsepower 2.7 liter turbo 4 cylinder. This is among the lower horsepower outputs in the mid-size truck segment, which was obvious when we drove it. Don't get us wrong, it's enough power to get you around on a daily basis. However, it certainly won't dazzle you particularly with a full complement of cargo or people. Moreover, when it works hard, it tends to be coarse and loud. Consequently, we much prefer the Turbo Plus, which helps make getting where you are going more satisfying. Unrelated to the powertrain, when testing the Colorado, we immediately noticed that it didn't need a load for the suspension to feel smooth and settled. The ride quality was both comfortable and controlled. The steering also departs from the old-time truck script. 
We found this system had a pleasant weight to it. We felt no vagueness with the front wheels when pointed straight ahead. Depending on the model, the Colorado offers up to five selectable drive modes, normal, tow slash haul, off-road, more for gravel and dirt roads, terrain, for more serious rock crawling, and Baja a dedicated desert mode. There are different chassis setups as well. The base WT and LT trucks provide 7.9 inches of ground clearance, less than a Subaru Outback. The off-road equipped Z71 increases that to 8.9 inches, while the Trail Boss trim has 9.5 inches. A more hardcore off-roader, the ZR2 lifts it to 10.7 inches. At the top of the ground clearance derby is the wildly off-road competent ZR2 Bison, measuring 12.2 inches. We've spent hundreds of hours driving and evaluating this generation of mid-sized trucks, including the Chevy Colorado. Fuel Economy The Colorado's mileage is about average for the segment. The most popular Turbo Plus gets 21 mpg in mixed driving with rear-wheel drive. Opting for four-wheel drive scrubs off 1 mpg to 20 mpg. This is better than the Turbo Ho in the ZR2 and ZR2 Bison at 17 and 16 mpg respectively. Not a shocker, the base turbo engine delivers the best fuel economy at 22 mpg with rear wheel drive and 20 mpg with four wheel drive. There's more Colorado fuel economy info on the EPA's website. Modern digs. In our view, the Colorado's interior quality, comfort, and practicality is about average for the segment with quality improving as you work your way up the trim levels. As rivals within the segment continue to improve with each generational redesign, the Colorado has remained in the hunt. Among crew cab configured rivals, the Colorado's second row legroom is about average. Measuring 34.7 inches, it's on PAR with the Ford Ranger Super Crew. One size fits all. Full size truck owners are familiar with various permutations regarding cab sizes and bed lengths. That's not always the case among mid sized trucks, at least not where today's Colorado is concerned. It takes the one size fits all approach offering only a four-door crew cab and short bed, 61.7 inches, configuration. That would certainly make our job easier if shopping for a mid-sized truck. Some competitors, in addition to a crew cab with four full doors, also offer a model with full front doors and two rear half doors. Although the short bed limits the size of the loads, we found the Colorado's various cargo securing opportunities solid time savers. For example, eight fixed tie-down cleats, with up to nine more movable points, make quick work of tying down loads. Another handy feature, the tailgate has an adjustable mid position for carrying longer items. Furthermore, there are bed pockets, plus an optional storage area in the actual tailgate. A handy 120 volt outlet is also available, and the standard corner step rear bumper makes it easier to access the bed. Our favorite features and tech. ZR2 Bison. This is the ultimate off-roading Colorado, offering several upgrades designed for maximizing any off-road experience. They include a raised suspension, larger wheels and tires, unique off-road dampers, and more. Wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Phone integration without the cable. What a concept. It's great not to have to monkey around with cables. Wireless charging with an extra large pad is available as well. Infotainment touchscreen. Chevy's infotainment interface is one of the more user-friendly systems made even better by the huge standard 11.3-inch touchscreen. Operating it while driving was fairly easy to master, thanks in part to Google built-in and its voice activation. Sunroof. This available open-air option is nice to have in a rugged mid-size pickup. Turbo Plus Engine. The 310-horsepower 2.7-liter Turbo Plus mill is optional in the two lower trims of the Colorado range. Noticeably livelier than the base engine, it only adds about $1,500 to the bottom line. We highly recommend the upgrade. HD Surround Vision Part of the optional technology package, this feature provides drivers with a view all around the truck, which made backing into a narrow parking space child's play. Engine and Transmission One of three turbo four-cylinder engines powers every Colorado. Although we have a degree of respect for the utility and practicality of the base engine, as Colorado buyers, we'd gravitate to the more powerful Turbo Plus, which is standard in the Trail Boss and Z71. We argue it's well worth the extra $1,500 it takes to add it to the two lower trims. 
Rear wheel drive is standard in the two lower trims with four wheel drive available as an option. The top trims come standard with four wheel drive. No matter the engine or number of drive wheels, an 8 speed automatic transmission hustles engine production to the wheels. The Chevrolet Colorado has a maximum payload capacity of 1,684 pounds with a segment leading maximum towing limit of 7,700 pounds. For comparison, the Ford Ranger can tug up to 7,500 pounds. 3 year 36,000 mile warranty. Chevrolet's factory bumper to bumper limited warranty lasts 3 years or 36,000 miles, whichever happens first. Powertrains are covered for 5 years or 60,000 miles. This is typical for the class. Chevy also tosses in the first scheduled service for free.